Joining me today in the Gearbox studio is Andrew Ma from Jans. Andrew, welcome. G'day, Jimmy. You're here to talk to us today about the Stage CL console from Jans. Yep, this is our new console that's aimed at people who are wanting to control a mix of conventional luminaires and an LED rig. Mm -hmm. Now, increasingly, a lot of people are running around with LED fixtures. And the problem for a lot of people is they're they've got a small rig, a, a, a quite a, a simple rig in many ways, but they've got consoles that are either far too basic and that make controlling LEDs a real hassle, or consoles that are like, as we Way say, too a, complex. yeah, like a sledgehammer to, hammer to crush an ant. Mm. So this console is aimed firmly at people who've got some LED fixtures and some conventionals and who want to really quickly and effectively do a show. And once you've done the patching setup, which takes all of about two minutes, mm -hmm. it's going to take you longer to physically plug the fixtures in. Mm -hmm. It really is about as simple as pick a colour and then push your fader up. And we've it got is. our four fixtures here running on four different DMX addresses, yeah. four channels apiece. Yeah. You've got a bunch of different fixture profiles in there. We do. We've got a heap of... Uh, brand name LED fixture profiles in here. So whatever you've got, you'll be able to find your, your fixture in there. It's also got a lot of generic fixtures because there are quite a few different LED models floating around in the market out there. So if you can't find your product on the list, you can run a generic profile and get the show going really quickly as well. In fact, these are a brand name product. They're a uh, chroma cube color, uh, color split, but we're just running them on a generic profile to show how quick and easy that is. Mm, definitely. Now. On the topic of, of, of simple colour, I'll bring up the other fixtures as well. We've got within here, if we go back to our home screen, we've got a colour button and we can go and we can get patterns. Yep. And we can go through and choose all these preset patterns. You've and, got um, multiple pages of preset patterns, preset chases and preset colours as well. So if you don't want to go in there and be individually programming something like this, which might take a few minutes, you can quickly pull up some colours and, and some just patterns. bump into a different look with no hassle. Yeah. And if you want a bit more seamless, you can uh, you can dial up a fade time there. Yep. And, um, and that will obviously then adjust how long it takes yep. to do that transition. Now recording scenes, you can record to a number of different places on the console, correct? You can. So recording is really simple on this console. All you do is press the record button and every position on the console where you can make a recording to will be flashing. So we can do things like record submasters underneath faders really simply. We, re we can record timed scenes. We can record a cue list if you want to do something in a more sort of theatrical context mm -hmm. or we can record chases. And now within some of those lists we can also go and use the preview function. You can actually can. see what all 12 of your outputs yep or all 12 of your fixtures or multiple fixtures if you've got several fixtures on the same address. Yep. You can see what they're going to do. There's a little mimic on screen. You can see what they're doing, what they have done and what they will do really quickly and simply and graphically. Mm. And the other really nice thing I guess is also, I'm just going to escape out of that record mm -hmm. function for now. If we've got all our faders down, we can have multiple fixtures selected. We go through, choose a colour um, with all the fixtures down, then we can bring them up and know that we're going to be in the right colour there. You're going to be in that shade, yeah. The other um, point I'd like to make about this part of the console is that each fixture is represented by a single channel strip. I mean, in the past, what we've thought about with with, uh, with lighting consoles is, is I mean, I'm, this is getting back to the point earlier about some of the really basic consoles being really difficult to use with LEDs because we've got 12 channels and there'll be 12 DMX channels. Mm. So we might have red, green, blue farmed out across three faders plus an intensity plus who knows what else across others. So that can often be not a particularly intuitive and fun way to control yeah, your Yeah, definitely. Fixture. And if you go to pull down your master, you get all sorts of weirdness going yeah, on all with sort intensities and, yeah. and effects kicking in and things you like that. You might have a strobe channel doing something weird. Yeah. In the case of this console, all the fixtures are controlled the same way. You've got an intensity fader, you've got a hue or colour knob, which is also a clicker, which will take you through different colours, and a saturation, which will take you from a deeply saturated colour up to a, to a more pastel or white colour. Mm. So one channel strip for one fixture. So you're not thinking, you're not trying to remember what your DMX attributes are, how they get farmed out over channels. You're simply thinking about it in much the same way as you might think about an audio channel. Mm. So schools, community theatres, anyone basically mm -hmm. who's got some LED fixtures, maybe a couple of dimmer channels they need to control, yep. this, is, uh, this yep. is definitely going to answer a lot of questions. I would have thought um, small venues, nightclubs, cabaret venues, that sort of stuff would be ideal for this as well. It's also, I mean, it's really light and small. You can throw it under your arm, take it to a, a small gig or a corporate event and that sort of thing. Mm. Get things going very quickly. For sure, and it's compact. Um, 
Retail price? What Retail price be? is shade under two thousand dollars. It's one thousand nine hundred ninety-five ink GST. So there you go. The stage CL from Jans.